Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Star Sound Speaks. It's episode 168 with Irliana Samsara, your cosmic guide to the stars and uh, <laughs> of Star Sound Astrology. So on this episode, I'm going to talk about Saturn going retrograde. Um, this is always an important um, when an outer planet goes retrograde, especially Saturn. Um, this started today, as a matter of fact, 647 Eastern Standard Time. And so I'm got, what I'm going to do is first talk about it, what uh, Saturn represents and when it goes retrograde and what it, it is inviting us to do in the sign it's in, gives us all these amazing, wonderful clues to help us um, make the most of this, um, of this transit. And then I'm going to talk about the mundane astrology, which is the astrology of um, countries, basically, really the United States. Um, and I, I will show you a chart for Washington. So it'll be about what that might look like uh, specifically for Washington, but also just applicable to, to um, you know, the world at large. And um, and I'll and then I'll finish by talking about the. Um, you know, our personal transformation and where exactly where this will be in what part of your chart will go through the zodiac house by house. And you'll find that out uh, where you might, ex where you can expect to see the this influence. Okay, so before we get started, just to say that I'm, uh, I'm so excited because I'm back doing my uh, course again. Um, after four years, I have not, um, I taught once uh, two courses four years ago and uh, BC, right? Before COVID, <laughs> well, when the world was different. But um, anyway, um, I'm different. And um, the level of education I've had and knowledge gained has, you know, increased exponentially. Um, I've got ancient astrology under my belt. So um, we're going to be doing this course. It starts a week from this Tuesday, June 14th. 7 p.m. Eastern time. If you can't make it live, we have recordings and it's going to give you the basics where you can just get started. Um, if you know a little bit about astrology, enough to make you dangerous, you know, that's cool too. You're welcome. We can uh, work with you and give you, um, we're going to be talking about some, um, you know, the ancient astrology way, the, the way the ancients saw astrology. So it has, it has a modern, we're going to be talking astrology in general with ancient and, and of course, modern blended the, the two together. Um, so that's, that's exciting. Looking forward to that small class, you know, we're just going to really get in there. And, uh, and by the end of five weeks, it goes through the end, what is it, the end of July, um, you will be able to, um, decode your chart. So uh, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so um, here it is, the website, and I made this. I'm getting better at, at Squarespace. Woot, woot. One of the eclipse breakthroughs, I must say, it always affects us. And <laughs> so in some place, it was like, okay, new beginnings with art and artistic expression. So anyway, I am your patient and fun-loving guide, and here's all the information. I made that too. Isn't that cool? Canva. All right, another breakthrough. <laughs> so that's what it looks like, and you can get all the information on starsoundastrology.com, and there's our curriculum, and it's really cool. I'm excited. It's 175, uh, but 144 through June 10th, so jump on the early bird special. Yay. Anyway, that's all for that, and um, no... After that word from our sponsor, back to our show. All right, so this Saturn retrograde. Um, this Saturn retrograde is going to take place uh, from, you know, it started let, yesterday, June 4th, and it will go through October 23rd. So it'll be right before the USA midterms. Very interesting. <laughs> and uh, it is going to be, at, um, it started at, as we can see here in the chart, this is the chart for Washington, D.C. And let me just pull that back to this turn in. Okay, 5.46 p.m. it started and um, it is at 25 degrees and 15 minutes of, um, 25 degrees of Saturn. Uh, uh, Saturn is 25 degrees of Aquarius. So it's in, it's still in its home sign. It'll be there through next March in, in the sign of Aquarius. And um, this is the, um, this, this, particular retrograde is going to be um, anybody who has fixed signs. If you're a Leo, an Aquarian, 
Scorpio or Taurus, or if you if you have the sun there or your rising sign or your moon or any of your planets within those signs between like 18 to 25 degrees, you're going to really feel the most or have the most impact. Yes, it's the fixed signs. And we just went through these eclipses and fixed signs. So there'll be some resonance. I would say, generally speaking, uh, where, whatever the eclipses had uh, shown you and revealed to you, it, now the universe is saying Saturn, the planet of responsibility and integrity and get to work, is taking a step back for the next five months. Saturn is, is saying, okay, you know, we're going to let's see about uh, what foundation are we really uh, operating from and what needs to change in order for transformation to really take hold and, and uh, be grounded. You know, the, the hopes, wishes, and dreams that we all desire for our lives for long-term in terms of doing the right thing for ourselves and for society whole, you know, what needs to change, what needs to be reflected on and reconsidered. So, um, Saturn is happens to be in its own um, in its own bounds and decans and triplicity ruler. So what does that mean? That's all astro jargon. Uh, it means that it's playing by its own rules and it has a very strong emphasis of its own. You know, of, it's got a real strong flavor about accountability, and um, this is the planet of accountability, right? Plant the the lords of karma and dharma and fate and destiny. That that is um, that is what Saturn rules. And I would say um, in terms of, it's a reality check, you know, on our foundation. So um, it's the planet of discipline, it's work, achievement. Saturn can bring melancholy and depression and obstacles where we really work in it, you know, um, breaking a sweat, <laughs> you know, and um, where we're setting, um, you know, when you think about Saturn, it's, uh, you know, concrete and architecture, right? Saturn was architecture. So it, Saturn in Aquarius, because it's an air sign, um, as opposed to Saturn in Capricorn, which is Earth, Cardinal Earth, and it was more of a material realm of restructuring, but it's been in the air sign since December 2020. And so this new era of Saturn in the air sign, Saturn and Jupiter every 20 years will be conjoining an air sign. So this is a whole new era, which we spoke about last year. Um, the next 200 years of, of Saturn, you know, and Jupiter cycling through the air signs. But anyway, to Saturn specifically, Saturn in Aquarius is very much about uh, its ideals because it's air, right? So it's your I the ideal society, the ideal foundation, the I the, your your authentic self, uh, you as you exist in the world at large and society at large, you know, and are we in alignment? Are we in integrity with ourselves as, as we see ourselves as part of a larger world community? You know, where, where, is, where the tweaks need to be made to make it happen? Um, the most ideal society, the most um, wonderful expression of, when you think about Aquarian energy, you know, making your hopes, wishes, and dreams come true. You know, what kind of foundations do we need to set or reset, you know, in retrograde, step back and look, what needs to be tweaked? You think about it like when people, you know, when a track meet, when you see the track runners and they jump over those hurdles, you know, that's like a Saturn thing, right? These, these hurdles, but, but when we, we make the effort and we jump over them, yes, it's effort, yes, it's work, yes, it's discipline and it's accountability, but we, um, we are stronger, you know, for that. But in this case with Saturn going retrograde, it's like, we're not gonna be running the track we're going to pull away those hurdles and we're going to go for a walk with either our boss or an authority figure in our life, or maybe it's just us, like us as the boss of our life. And it's like metaphorically, and I, I invite everybody to do this literally, go take a walk, a long walk, um, you know, up a mountain, Saturn rules mountains, you know, uh, go to a place that's just really off the beaten path. If you think of it also like uh, what if, you know, you, you see people who when these uh, leaders of foreign countries, you know, presidents and monarchs and prime ministers that meet in these conferences and then they'll, they'll go for a walk, they'll, they'll go away from the conference table. So instead, when Saturn's direct, we're, we're working it, right? We've got plans and we're moving forward. We're jumping those hurdles. We're meeting those things head on. 
Saturn retrograde is saying, okay, we're going to leave that conference room and we're going to take a walk and just um, reflect. And so like the billy goat, the, the, the Capricorn mountain goat that climbs these craggy peaks, you see those, those amazing, uh, okay, this is what I want to show you. So you're walking with your boss or just you, the boss of you, and you take a long walk really remote, right? You're stepping back from the world. You're not thinking about your plans. You're not achieving your goals. You're walking away from them. You still have them on your mind. You know you're responsible for them, but you need space and giving yourself that space to really see the big picture, right? These Look at those mountains. Oh, what I wouldn't give to sit with those sheep right now. <laughs> and just like the way those leaders of uh, countries, you know, get together and do long walks or, you know, play golf together or something, they get out of the boardroom and they, they talk about the big picture and what better place really to do it than in nature, especially out in a remote place, which is so Saturnian, not just mountains. And if you can't get to mountains, um, just do it alone, you know, in a, that Saturn way of a, a reflective contemplative space is what you want to create for yourself. And if you can't do that, you can, you just certainly, you know, go within. Ultimately, it's about taking that sacred quiet time and reflecting on the things that are important to you. Excuse me. What is it that, that um, we need to, what, um, what's in our way, what can we discover as we look at, at the foundation of our life and what, what serves us and what doesn't? So what needs to be tweaked and changed? And is there a hole in the wall? You know, Saturn rules boundaries and foundations. And is there a crack or a hole metaphorically? Do we need to patch that up? Do we need to go and, and take care of those things? Because when we move forward, we need our walls and our boundaries set. And maybe we really need to reset our boundaries. Saturn is very much about boundaries and maturity and being wise and patient. Um, and it's also, I would say, the planet of like, you know, grow up, like show up and grow up, like put on your big girl panties and deal with it, you know, <laughs> deal with reality and look it squarely in the face and go, OK, you know, I'm, I'm taking accountability here. I'm taking stock of where I have progressed and what I need to do, um, what tweaks and new directions I might consider that um, are going to help me when it goes direct at the end of October. When Saturn is in retrograde, well, any, when any planet's in retrograde, um, it goes, instead of secondary motion astronomically, it goes in primary motion, which means that it moves with the sun. And when it moves with the sun, the, the, the philosophical foundation of that is that it is more like its divine self. You know, you could say it's almost like Saturn's higher self. Like when you're met, when you're meditating, you're not in your busy mind, hopefully. <laughs> um, but it's where you know, thinking about the the, the the regular stuff of the day. But it's you're contemplating your life. You're you've pulled back, and so this this gives us an opportunity to. Um, to really look at the big picture and we, we, our nose is off the grindstone, right? And we're, we're um, looking at, you know, in that divine kind of way that's standing at that mountaintop, looking out and getting, feeling more connected with our divine self. So that Saturn retrograde is, it's nothing, people often, you know, piss on Saturn. Oh, you know, it's, you know, it's like the drills, I say the drill sergeant of the Zodiac. Yeah, it is. And when it's retrograde, it's kind of a, um, it's interesting because then the brakes come off. If, if Jupiter's the gas pedal, Saturn is the brake. And so when the, when the brakes come off, then you're coasting backwards. And so you're able to see things in a different way. Um, regarding all of the integrity checks and balances that, that we need to run our lives. Um, so it's a five month process. It's not fast like Mercury. You know, we just came out of Mercury retrograde and that's, you know, he's the ADD poster boy, the Zodiac, he's always spinning, you know? <laughs> and so, um, you know, those Venus and, and, and Mars and, and uh, Mercury retrogrades are all much faster. So this is a slow burn. So it's not an obvious thing as much, you know, because it's an outer planet. The thing about this is you want to know is that it makes a square with Uranus and Taurus. At the, last year, we had three squares 
well, I was there in early February of last year, and then around July 4th, and then one more time, and around November, we had the squares, the exact squares, Saturn and Uranus square was the big news story of last year. Well, this year, we have one more square with Uranus and Saturn, and, and Saturn's in retrograde, and Uranus will also be there, and it'll start late August, and it'll be exact October 1st to 11th. So that exact square with Saturn is really about calling, um, exact square with Uranus, sorry, is about, um, again, looking at our the, the structures and the realities of our lives, and as it, what needs to stay and what is important that's that's uh, you know for the long haul and what needs what new things need to come on board and how how do we create structure that's based on the future and, and take the best from the past but um, but the, you know we're 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 moving beyond the things that have, have held us back that have been we've been fixated on separation look at the separation in this country politically you know there's been such a divide so that saturn uranus square is like something's got to give and it's it's a pressure cooker and it's forcing us to really you know join forces and everybody um come together in an, in, in in new ways in, in not the ways in which from dragging the past but really coming from the future like saying use these five months to say you know what is it what kind of perfect life or what would my ideal life look like and who would I be what is my real my authentic self and I'm am I expressing that out in the world right now or am I just being some figment of somebody what somebody wants me to be and you know where is my sovereignty and where where do I fit into the larger picture I would say too it's like we not me with Saturn and Aquarius this is the the we um, this is a chapter in history where it's it's got to be we, it's got to be a, a team effort where we're all uh, copacetic and working together in groups and communities that support one another. Um, you know, I would say you might ask yourself, um, you know, what goals need to be revisited to make my dream a reality? Um, what goals are realistic and what, which ones aren't? Are those dreams for everybody's best or is it just, you know, I need my green lawn? Well, if you're in California right now, you only get to water, what is it, once a week now? You know, water restriction. So your lawn doesn't matter anymore. You know, hello, Uranus and Taurus, eclipses in the mix with Uranus. Uh, you know, new, a new conversation around um, supply water, right? South Node Scorpio, water, food, food supply. Um, but are these dreams for for everybody's best, you know, to, to or is it just are your needs for a green lawn, you know, is that taking precedence because it's about to get interrupted, that conversation. And in California, it already has. So I'm kind of getting into the um, the mundane of it. So I guess I'll just keep moving with that. Um, so mundane astrology in the sign of, let's see, the United States. Here we have it for, um, I will, it's in the third house. It's gonna be in the third house of the United States chart. So I can pull that up and here we go. Here we are. So here's the United States chart. I'm using Sibley, um, but um, for the Sibley chart, whole sign houses, ancient astrology. I use the whole sign house system if you're not familiar with my work. And as you can see here, it's stationing, right? It's stationed retrograde two degrees from the USA moon. So, whoa. And the moon represents in mundane astrology, the population of a country. So the moon in Aquarius, we have been in Aquarian, you know, the melting pot and all those things we learned in you know, grammar school, America is a melting pot, diversity, right? You're you're honest. We come from many, many e pluribus unum is so Aquarian, out of many one, right? The little get on jeopardy with that, right? That's the motto, it's on every coin. Um, and so the um uh, Saturn retrograding on that moon is a big change, a fundamental change in the economy. So, you know, speaking of coins, yeah, well, you know, it's in making an overcoming square to Mercury and Taurus ruling buying and selling and commerce and with its domicile ruler Jupiter I mean um, Venus 
So this is about the money supply, the stock market. Um, so this could, it could be some interesting changes regarding that um, with um, market reversals um, or, or just coming on board with a whole new system that's future oriented. And, and with, with Uranus, I mean, sorry, with Saturn in Aquarius, AI is definitely the areas, um, one of many areas that we'll be seeing uh, revisions and changes. And maybe there's some setbacks that their goals aren't going to be met right now because they need to be revised. But I would say uh, the things that immediately come to mind for me is the real estate market. We've already started seeing this kind of um, decrease in home prices. You know, some of it's due to the fact that or much of it is probably due to the fact that the Fed raised interest rates. So we are seeing a slowdown of this crazy pace that's been going nuts where people are offering more than the house was advertised for. As you probably know, we, this has been going on for quite some time. Well, when Saturn retrogrades, there's a rethinking of that and there's a slowing down of that process. So I would say the real estate market, artificial intelligence, because you're honest, excuse me, um, Aquarius rules the internet and AI. So restructuring AI and maybe asking ourselves, like, let's put this in check. You know, how much of this do we really want and how much of this represents us and how much AI are we, do we really need? Um, and, and is it going to cost us uh, real connection? Are we gonna isolate the, the shadow of Aquarius's social isolation? So we get to rethink that on a, on a collective level. Uh, virtual reality, which is part of AI, you know, okay, uh, let's rethink this. Let's reflect on, on, you know, is this going to be a part of our foundation and, or not, you know, and, and, and how much of, would doing that and going in that direction um, really put us in touch with our authentic selves? So these are like questions that we're going to be asking ourselves. Uh, the economy, you know, Saturn rules the economy in, in a, um, in a chart, in a, in a mundane chart. So we're looking at supply chain issues, food, the money system, the food system, uh, the water system, the supply chain, um, the economy in general, um, Saturn ruling bosses and authority figures and government figures, politics, you know, government, this, the very, very fabric of society, the infrastructure, right? Roads, bridges, tunnels, the, all of those things. Um, as they relate to getting people what they need, right? So it's time to get in, in, into integrity. And these are natural rhythms of nature. Every planet, not the sun and the moon, but all the planets retrograde at some point in their cycles. And it's, it's definitely a part of the cycles of nature to step back. The artist that paints and paints for a while then has to give it up, step back, move away from it, give it space. And then in that there's clarity for when we move forward, makes sense. Um, so I think that's, um, yeah, I think that's, and I, I, I think I would say, you know, with the United States, it's like a new plan for money and resources and sharing. Um, it involves a change of mind, a change of attitude. It's, we have to be willing to be curious and explore different options, new collaborations, new ways to sell and network and new media perhaps, or a new, a new narrative from the media. Um, the sun is conjunct the descendant in the USA chart for Saturn retrograde. So that would be, um, you know, we're adapting to a new narrative. There's the, there's the setting of the sun, like a, the, the old, an old paradigm where we've been stuck is ending and um, we are embracing um, innovation and uniqueness and advancement and improvement. I and mean, this is what's being asked of us to, to look at these things. So um, yeah, I think that's about it um, about Saturn. Yeah, I hope that that was uh, useful for you. So, all right. And I hope you have a wonderful, um, these next deep reflection. Remember, be that billy goat or bighorn sheep. Those giant, with the, those are um, Fibonacci spirals, right? <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? Sacred geometry. So let's go pull on our big girl, big boy panties and uh, or not or gender fluid panties. You know, we're, we're beyond our all spectrums here. <laughs> and we'll put on our big horn sheep ears and we'll listen and quiet Saturn, you know, reflection and 
uh, solitude and really think this out around, you know, where do we want to go as a society? So I hope that you have a wonderful time and journey and adventure doing this. And um, I will see you next time. So um, again, this is Early Samsara, Star Sound Speaks, starsoundastrology.com. Thank you all for listening. See you next time. Bye for now.